Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be sharing five powerful applications for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. All of these apps are free, so let's dive in and get started right away. And of course, we are going to be talking about some powerful apps that can boost the performance of your phone and much more, as you can see. So, the apps I'm talking about can be seen right here. You can see there's actually six of them, but five of them are the ones that I usually use. But of course, we'll grab all of them and I'm going to show you exactly what they do. Now, to download these applications, what you want to do is you want to click the link down below. Once you click the link, you're going to be at my website. Once you're at the website, just scroll down until you see this download. And you can see over here, we have the link. You click the link. It'll take you to the Galaxy Store from where you can download the Good Guardians module. Once you install, you open that, and all the apps are going to be here one by one. Now, to install each application, you're going to have to click on the application and click on Install. You can see all these five apps here have been installed. This app is not installed, so there's a little shopping symbol right here. You just click on it. It'll take you to the Galaxy Store and you can quickly install that application. Once you install that and you go back to your module, you're going to see that symbol is gone. That means you have all five. All right, so let's quickly talk about the Memory Guardian app, which is going to be right here. Then we're going to go back to the top and just go downwards, okay? So let's launch this application. I just want to show you exactly what it is. So it is going to launch the application. It's going to give you a graphical rep of how your current RAM, your memory, is being used. You have the Monitor tab, the History tab, and also you have the Customize tab. In the Monitor app, what you can do is simply do a cleanup, and that's going to give you a quick boost to your phone by clearing up unused, unnecessary RAM and memory. Then you will get this message. You can read what it says right here. And again, you can tap over here and even get some tips as to what's happening uh, with this application. And you can go back over here, tap on excluded applications. Now, these are the apps you can exclude from the Memory Guardian application from optimizing. And that makes sense because some apps, you just want them continually having access to your RAM. This is one of those, the One UI Home and the Samsung Location. You can even add more applications if you want those applications having full unfettered access to your memory. Let's go back over here. You have the customize option at the bottom. You can go through different modes here. And as you pick a mode, it's going to show you the description of what that mode does for you. Okay. Now for some phones, these things are not that important. If you have a flagship, maybe a full four S 22 ultra S 21 ultra, even a Note 20 Ultra. But if you have an older phone, these things help a lot. So again, you can read and decide what you want to do right from here. Let's go back to monitor and let's go back over to Good Guardians. And we are going to continue with the battery tracker application. Let's go inside, see what this one is all about. This is basically just a cool application giving you a graphical representation of your battery usage. You can see the most used applications, how long were they active. You can tap on this button. You can see how much battery they used of the total usage based on that graph. You can see where your battery was, which is over here, the battery meter. So this was at 75%. From 1 a.m. to 1 a.m., it dropped from 75% to around 55%. You can see the screen on time, which is the yellow bars. And also you can see everything for the last seven days as well. Now, this is not the primary phone that I use, so the graph doesn't look too crazy. Your graph might look more crazy and complex than this one. So that's the battery tracker. Let's go back and talk about it. Now, let's go back to Good Guardians. The next application, which is much more cool, is the Battery Guardian application. So when you click this application, you actually get a bunch of features that are not found on your phone that is going to allow you to extend your battery even more further. The first one you can enable is the app power saving. Basically, if you enable this, okay, you can also go inside. It says when the battery draining app has been found, app will be put to sleep automatically to extend your battery. 
So that's one feature. We don't have any apps showing up over here. If there were any apps, they would show up right here. I'm just going to disable this for now. Go back. Now this one here is one of my favorites, the auto dim apps. Now if you click this guy, what you can do is enable this feature. Now once you enable this feature, the screen, if you're not interacting with it, within 15 to 30 seconds, just dims down. So for example, if you have the phone like this on the table and you walk away, what's going to happen is the screen is going to remain bright until it times out which is going to destroy your battery. And by destroy, I mean quickly use the battery. With the auto dim enabled, if you're not interacting with your phone and you walk away, it is going to auto dim the screen within 15 to 30 seconds. So even if you forgot to lock your screen and you walk away, it is still going to save you battery. So that's a great little feature. You can also, by the way, when you enable this, you can exclude apps you don't want this to work with. Okay, just so you know. Let's go back out. You also have the network power saving. You can do power saving during bedtime. And you also have this option that allows you to extend battery life by optimizing certain settings as you desire. Once you customize them, you tap on optimize, and that's going to give you extended battery as well based on the settings that you choose. So that's great. Let's go back to the Good Guardians. And then we have the Galaxy App Booster. Now this one is gonna boost up the performance of your apps. So once you launch it, it's gonna check your phone and it's gonna tell you how many apps you have. It's gonna give an approximation of what kind of boost to expect after you run this. And also it tells you the runtime approximation uh, after you click Optimize Now how long is it going to take to optimize the phone and all the apps to boost the app performance. So you can tap on optimize now and it's going to start and I'm going to stop it right now but you can just see a quick look at exactly what's happening. So I'm going to stop this right here. Tap on stop now. You can even pause it. I'm just going to stop it just to demonstrate and uh, we're going to go back to good guardians and then you can go to thermal guardian. Now this allows you to manage the temperature of your device and also take a look at it to see what's been happening with your CPU usage as you can see that's my CPU usage I haven't gone to 100% in the last 24 hours so that's great you can also show temperature so it, it will show you the CPU usage and the corresponding temperature that the phone was at so over here we had a spike in CPU usage and you can see there was also a spike in, in the temperature, but it was below this yellow smiley, so that's fine. If you're over here at red smiley all the time, there might be a problem with your phone. That means it's getting too hot, or it could mean that you're just playing too many games, or have your phone sitting in an extremely hot environment. Just something to keep in mind, but you can hide the temperature or show it. You have the threshold here. You can make sure your phone doesn't go super hot by modifying the threshold uh, manually. So I can here, I can reduce the maximum threshold of the phone by one Celsius and I can tap on apply. When I do that, you can go to additional settings and that shows you what is going to happen if you are above the threshold that you set. Not only that, you can actually modify how the phone behaves if it reaches the threshold. Now let me show you something. So for example, if I have this at maximum, let's say I want the thermal threshold to increase by two degrees Celsius. I'm gonna tap on apply. If that ever happens when I'm using my phone, which means this graph is gonna spike all the way to the top, I can tap on additional settings and I can run all these at the same time to reduce the temperature. That's what it means. I can also only run these three things to reduce the temperature, but if you do all four, it's gonna reduce it even faster, all right? So that's great. You can also choose the processing speed for your phone right from here as a convenience option, all righty? So that's a Thermal Guardian. Gonna go back. Now finally, I'm gonna talk about the Media File Guardian, which allows you to manage media files so when you click this, it has a couple of cool features. 
The first thing you want to do is you want to scan the media files real quick. It's going to check the whole phone and scan all the media files and it's going to do some sorting and stuff like that. You can see over here, it tells you what it did. Tap on done. And the first thing you can do is you can clean up the temporary files uh, just to make some extra space on your phone. Once that is done, you can look for things like this one. So look at this one. If I tap this option here, it shows me photos that have replicas. So basically you can see over here, I have this photo right here. And if I go back, I have this photo right here. Now all these photos are basically edited versions of the original. So what I can do is I can delete these again to make space. And I can actually pick and choose which one I want to delete so I don't accidentally get rid of the original file. So I don't need this, this, or this, or this. I don't need, even need this and this. I know that for a fact. I don't need this. So I'm going to tap on delete and it's going to delete nine items. And again, that saved me some space. And you have other things you can do here with that as well. And then you can go over here and look at other files and other options that you have. So this is specifically designed for managing media files, but this is one of the apps. I don't really use that often. I don't think it's that useful. I just go to my files right here. And I think that's a superior file manager with additional options. Alrighty. But again, you can have it if you want. Again, all these apps by Samsung, all of them for free. Download and enjoy. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.